to your head podcast. Digitized live from the your company name here. Your studios in Cape Coral, Florida. It's the What's in Your Head podcast. Oh, my name is Mike. I'm wearing a hundred orange shirt. Oh, fuck you! <laughs> you're such a dick. With you're turning that. in. You're gonna. You're gonna be turning in <laughs> soon. That's an insult to have. <laughs> <coughs> oh, he pissed me off the other night. Oh yeah. What do you do? I don't know. He was having issues with his in-laws. He was down here, do taking care of like shots and stuff for the kids. Uh huh. And like he tequila shots? me, huh? Like tequila shots? <clears throat> no, like <laughs> <laughs> vaccines for the kids. Oh, okay. Like TB and shit or COVID? Uh, no, he doesn't want to give them the COVID. But he's on like, the TB, the tuberculosis. And shit. Yeah, the the typical like two and three year shots or whatever speaking of that did you hear the the last surviving guy who <clears throat> lived in an iron lung died yesterday paul uh paul what's his name yeah we talked about him on stan Haney a few years back he died yesterday yeah he died the dude Fuck, was, i was just watching his videos 70 years old living in the, he was the last person living in an iron lung holy shit well here's to paul <laughs> Not to be mean, but 70 years, sir. 70 years, basically. <laughs> Could you imagine like living in a tanning bed for 70 years? The lights turned out because that's essentially what the guy did. He could not get out of this lung and it's not like it was mobile. So it's not like, hey, we're going to wheel him out on the back porch for a few hours to get some sun. No. <laughs> and, and you would think that they would have come up with something better by now. Well, I'm sure they did. Otherwise, you would have more people living in iron lungs but maybe he, maybe well, they we have a cure for it right was was that was that that's not polio what was yeah that was polio yeah it was, it I, was I polio. polio just fucked up your legs no pol, polio if it gets bad enough it paralyzes you i gotcha so and he was paralyzed like completely from the neck down and he couldn't even breathe. So my he, stepfather was paralyzed from the neck down too, but he still had motor He function. must he must have been in either of the weird transition phase where yeah. he couldn't medically make that change or he just the insurance gave up on him at that point and he couldn't afford yeah. it or I, maybe what's the the devil you know? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe maybe his I guess maybe his lungs couldn't survive the amount of time it would take to remove him from the tanning bed and then hook him up to whatever modern day equivalent. I don't know. Yeah, because I mean that's essentially Ale what Paul it did, Alexander. right? It was a vacuum. It was a vacuum chamber to make your lungs go up and down, right? Yes. I mean Morgan should know. He works in propane. It's about the same. High <laughs> <laughs> <I> pressure <laughs> canisters. <laughs> I, I, I do I do oxygen too, so it's it, it is pretty much the it's same. Technically, thing. he's living in a high pressure canister, so yeah, it's it's the same thing. Well, a, yeah, that's that's actually what a hyperbaric chamber is. Is you know they like for you the know bends. divers that have come up too fast. It's just basically an oxygen rich environment for divers or Michael Jackson when he wants to get a good nap before the propofol. <laughs> that was like the urban legend before the propofol was like, oh, he sleeps in a hyperbolic chamber. No, you know, it's weird. I, I don't know. I suppose anything's possible. By the way, welcome to uh, another episode of the What's in Your Head podcast. We just kind of <laughs> kicked it off, and the 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 pre show subject matter was so good, with the exception I'll have to edit out a little bit about a friend of ours so he don't get mad. But other than that, which we didn't even complete the story, but uh, welcome to uh, a new <laughs> season of What's in Your Head podcast. Uh, it's been hey. a while. Mike and I, you know, Mike and I did this really dark shit you need to know before society slides off a cracker episode and it never aired uh because the audio dropped out and i had no the video something happened i i have to transcribe it from a video somewhere but we never ended up well, doing I, it i got sick oh that's right you had to in poop between, in in the middle of recording it i got sick and i had to go you know so that's only feeling good in five years we've been doing this that only happened to me once it was on a what's the skull about podcast and I had an uh, I had a um, an author on there, but luckily it happened when the like the last ten minutes of the episode. I just all of a sudden I start getting real hot, and my stomach was like, "Nope, we're not doing this." And I, 
we go to a quick outro <laughs> that I, 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 kinda, <laughs> I said, dude, I, I said, I'm sweat. I like, I was literally sweating. I was like, I got to go, dude. I said, I, I'm, my, I'm just, something just came over me. I like pouring sweat out of my face. But anyhow. You were live then? Uh, no, pre-recording. Oh, pre no, I, no, I was live. And so, <laughs> yeah, oh, we were still on a live then. <laughs> yeah. Anyhow, uh, down for those watching on YouTube, um, down at the bottom, you'll you'll recognize the name, you'll recognize the face back when we were doing a live a lot. Mr. Morgan Long checking in on the YouTube live stream, commenting and uh, posting all the time. You would hear Gordon and I talk a lot about Mr. Morgan Long. So, you know, one of the things that I have discovered in the podcast format, at least for me, is two personalities is great. But having a third person to interject, especially if you don't have the exact same personalities, is even better. And not only that, but if one person can't do the show, you don't have to cancel it. You always have, you know, there's all, then, okay, now it's a two person show for tonight and what have you. And Gordon's still out doing his thing. So I reached out to Morgan and I said, Hey, man, uh, we're going to do a little bit of a format change again. You want to come on the show and uh, see how it feels? And so. He's, he's trying us on, and uh, hopefully he doesn't leave us in the dressing room and go find a, a, a tighter-fitting <laughs> show. So, okay. Can I take no a problem. show to a dark area real quick before we get no. too far away from Paul? What was Paul's no. name again, Mike? Paul Alexander. Paul Alexander. Okay, hear me out. We're going to go dark, but hear me out. 70 years, died at 78. Okay. You're Paul Alexander. You spent 70 years in, a, in essentially... As we said, um, a tanning bed, if you will, right? Sure. Pressurized trash can. Pressurized trash can. <laughs> now, let's say hypothetically we knew that um, this pre another pressurized trash can called the Ocean Gate Explorer was going to go to the <laughs> bottom of the earth. <laughs> Oh, and crumple. God. Now, if Paul knew that he was going to die a short nine months later, if you would have went to Paul and said, hey, I'm from the future. This thing's going to go to the bottom of the earth, get close to the Titanic, and it's going to crumple. You're going to die 12 months later. You've literally been staring at these same four walls for 70 years. I got a proposition for you. Do you think he would have made that trip? knowing that it would be his last trip, but hey, I'm going to see some cool shit before I go. And who better to die in a high-pressure trash can than a guy who spent 70 years in one? I say it's like almost poetic. <laughs> yes, <laughs> but what did they really see? Do we know if they even made it? I don't think that they actually I'm not made saying it. they saw the Titanic, but I guarantee you they saw at least one turtle. You so totally a dolphin and half a fucking jellyfish, oh which is God. more he than Paul he, has ever seen in his uh, life. He could get that I, shit on National Geographic. Get the fuck out of here the with that. The guy's living in technology <laughs> from 1963. You think he had a plasma TV? He became a lawyer. I, he was a I defense pretty... attorney. <laughs> well, Even I mean, better, he could afford the damn gonna, trip. Gonna... This has been a Digital 410 production. <laughs>